middle stat, and I will be showing you how to create a pace and compass map. In order to do this, you first need to find your pace and be able to use it to determine distances, and then use a compass to determine bearings. The first thing you need to do is measure your pace. A pace is the distance from the heel of one foot to the heel of the same foot the next time it hits the ground. To find your pace, mark out a known distance on flat, even land and walk naturally, counting the number of times the foot you don't start on hits the ground. So here I've measured out five meters and I'm starting on my left foot, so each pace will count as each time my right foot hits the ground. One, two, three, and a half. So do this step several times and average your results. It took me an average of 3.2 paces to cover 5 meters. To find your pace, divide the distance covered, for me 5 meters, by the number of paces it took to cover that distance, for me 3.2 meters. So my average pace is about 1.56 meters. So now that we know our pace length, we can use it to determine unknown distances. Simply count, your, count the number of paces it takes to walk from point to point and multiply it by your pace length. Now I'm going to show you how to use your compass to determine a bearing. So to get a bearing or compass reading, first face the direction you wish to travel. Then choose an object to walk towards. I've chosen to walk towards that rock. And hold your compass level and point the direction of travel arrow towards the object you are walking towards. Now, rotate the compass housing so that the magnetic needle is aligned with the orientation arrow, like this. Note that the magnetic arrow always points north, and on this compass, north is indicated by the red half of the arrow, so you align the red magnetic needle with the red orientation arrow on the compass housing, as so. Your bearing is the angle aligned with the direction of travel arrow when you rotate your compass housing. So here my bearing is about 260 degrees, so that means I am facing west. Using pace and bearing, I'm going to map the direction along this path from this pole to that rock. First I take my bearing, which I just determined is 260 degrees. So now I'm going to walk in a straight line towards my object, that rock, um, counting my paces and keeping my compass pointed at 260 degrees. One, two, three, four, five. So in your field book, be sure to record the bearing and the number of paces it took to get from one point to another and draw a rough sketch of the line segment that you want. Choose another point to walk towards, take the bearing of it, and count the number of paces it takes to reach it. Do this from point to point until you have completed your map. This field method technique is extremely useful um, for orienting yourself and recording the location of data points and observations, especially when you are in an unmapped area or don't have GPS.